Welcome to Bad Hops. If you'd please subscribe, we would appreciate it. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Baltimore Orioles. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shami. And a couple of division rivals going head to head today, Siggy. I think when these two teams match up, that regardless, you're looking to bury that other claw because of what they've done to you over the course of the season. You figure, hey, it's my time to return the favor. And in scoring position with two away. Isaac Paredes now. The pitch to the right side. And that one handled. Throws the first in time. And that is the. So one out with two aboard. Here's the second baseman, Max Powers. See, he's got a history of coming through in the big spots. I know. I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists but you look at the numbers and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots that one finds the zone strike one well I think it's the ability to assess the situation understanding what the pitcher has what he's trying to get people out on and then being able to in the air right field and that'll fall for a base hit they throw to third and he's in safely at third as they jump ahead and one scores. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. Stepping in, Nick Maton. Swing and a miss. And the count is even, two and two. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Throw to second. Great jump. So the batting order turns over. And now Josh Lowe. On the ground, right side. Powers. Whips it to first. And the inning is over. Nothing doing for 10. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the second baseman. Max Powers. The second baseman. Powers goes five feet nine inches only 18 years old and he's been wearing out home plate lately he scored 10 times in the last 10 games and he bunts but that's a foul ball Next offering is down low. 0 2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. And yeah, that's off the inside edge. And the count's even at two. Here comes a pinch. And that one is lifted in the air. The Rosarena moving under it. And makes the grab. One down. So one out, nobody on. Jose Caballero next to hit for the Rays. Bounce to the right side. Gathers and out. throws to first. Out now number two. Now back. Second And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here in game one of this three game set. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. A Rosarena makes the catch. And that is. So two down. Harold Ramirez at the dish. And a pitch. On the ground right side. That's the third out. And we're back. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Lowe. And a pitch. Ground ball right side. Tosses to first. One up, one down. 
That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. One down, base is empty. Right side. Throw to first is in time. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job. Max Howard, yeah. the next to hit for the Orioles. We just might be talking about this at bat in our post-game wrap. He's proven he can drive in runs in these spots. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. When you have a real athletic player and who's able to do the baseball mechanical things really well, look out because the sky's the limit on that potential. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. That misses. The count now two and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Swung on, belted. That's back. In there. That'll do it. In comes the winning run, and they lock it up. Inning, it's a tied ball game. No one really wants to play extra, so everyone's looking at how we can get this game over with in regulation. Well, they got the run they needed, put one up, and they put one in the win column. Powers kept the hitting streak going in this one. It was a good game to begin with, but when you factor in how he walked it off for him, that's just the cherry on top. This one's got to feel good. And your final score here today, 2-1, as the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Bad Hops Baseball. Smash that like button.